So, so here we are. Here we are. Notice anything different? There's something different? Really? What? We got a whole new like machine here and you didn't Oh, oh yeah! The Big Daddy mixer's gone. It's shrunk. Yes. Well, what's this guy? You don't even know what that is? No. Really? Is it some kind of like Mega Ninja? It's called a food processor. Oh. But here's something really interesting about this food processor. Oh, what's that? Um, it's yours. What? <laughs> you got that as a wedding gift. How do you have one of my wedding well, gifts? Well, because I asked to borrow it. And you let me borrow it, and I've had it ever since. You've never, ever asked for it back. That's because I didn't know it was missing. You're the one that let me borrow it. You stole one of my no, wedding gifts? No, no, did not steal. You let me borrow it. You, you handed over the box to me. That's not stealing. Oh, wow. I didn't hand it back, but... <laughs> You know what? I, I wouldn't even know how to use it. So Well, look at this. At least it went to a home where it could be loved and used. And it's been very well taken care of. Well, then there you go. And you're going to be able to use it for the first time today. Well, look at that. I guess I'm going to learn how to use my own food processor. And then I'm going to be super sad because then you probably ask for it back. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> Holy cannoli, today we are going to be making the holy grail of all recipes as far as our family is concerned. Are, are we going on some kind of quest or something? Do I need special apparatus to go on this journey? Uh, maybe not that, but maybe an Indiana Jones hat. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> so, um, this is basically, our, again, our family's staple recipe for a majority of all the recipes that we make. So you need this mm -hmm. to make any of the Italian recipes we're gonna be learning? Yes. Okay, well then I guess this is pretty important, guys. You better be paying attention. It's pretty important. All right, well, let's get started. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Beauty. And I'm the Queen Bee. And, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. So this recipe. I'm ready for our journey. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, you see a lot of Italian cooking shows. You see this recipe, but they they do it a different way. We prepare it so it's already made, and you don't have to do any measuring. You don't have to, you know, it's already done. Whereas in most of the cooking shows, they'll say, "Oh, it's a cup of cheese. It's a cup of breadcrumbs. It's an egg. It's a little bit of parsley." You know, they just kind of put. The ingredients in one by one and so you you make this concoction yes already put together already put together does this does this special concoction have a name well our family calls it mudiga mudiga okay if you, if you look that up it doesn't really come out too much <laughs> so you won't find anything you won't find anything i even asked my grandma at some point what that all meant she said she had no idea that was just something that they called it it's from been passed down. Passed so down. This is a special yeah. secret family potion. Yes, it called is. Called Mudiga. Yes, it is. It's in the cookbook. All right. Yeah. The happy cooker. So this is going to be great. You're going to be able to keep this in the refrigerator, and then anytime that you're working with any kind of meat or fish or anything, you can use it. So it's going to, you know, bring together a lot of recipes. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So we're going to start off with the breadcrumbs. 
Okay. Now, it's really important that you don't substitute in this particular recipe, okay? How, how do you substitute bread? Isn't bread bread? Well, not really. Now, you know that we already introduced our homemade bread recipe. Oh, yes, yeah. we did. So, if I have a couple slices of homemade bread left over, what I'll do is I'll set it out and it'll to dry it. And then I'll grind it in this wonderful food processor. In my wonderful food yes. processor. And then I'll just collect the, the crumbs, you know, over time. But can you just get bread from the store? You can. But what I use is I do not use like the loaf type breads. I actually get the homemade like French breads or Italian breads in the store that is made daily. Because those are not made with any kind of so you can't get like the bread that's already sliced in the in, in, in right. the bag. Right. So so special bakery French bread, nice and fresh. Yes. But you lay it out to dry. Yes. So what you do is I actually let it sit on the counter unbagged for about two days. Do you slice it up first? I don't. Okay. And then after two days, then I slice it and I slice it into little cubes or you know pieces like this then yes then I lay it out on baking sheets and I just let it dry for the rest you know for our next couple days now it depends on where you live and how fast your bread's gonna dry we live in the Pacific Northwest where it's damp all the time lots of rain so, yeah so it takes about four or five days to really completely dry it because it's got to be not only dry on the outside got to be dry on the inside. So it's got to be hard, crisp on the inside. There you go. You got to be able to break it. Now, I've made this when I visited uh, Uncle Robbie in Colorado and literally takes like two days because, you know, there's no moisture in the air there. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind it up in the food processor. Okay. All right. How do you do that? Okay. We'll take the lid off. You only want to do it about halfway up because when the bread starts to fly around, it's going to get all caught and everything. So you just take this and just take that and plop it in. Plop it in. There you go. Let's make sure that it actually gets in there, not on the floor. You're going to start it by pulsing just a couple times. Okay, then you want to put it on high. There you go. Now you don't want to grind it too fine like it's a duck. So you just got to make sure you watch it for a minute. And, I don't know. Okay, okay, turn it off. That looks great. All righty. And of course, we can't go through one episode without a complete mess. Well, it just flies. Well, okay. I'm trying to get every drop. Why is it when I cook, it, my area is, okay, I'm not gonna even, not even gonna go through this. But didn't we have this discussion in the very beginning when we started this channel, when I said, one of the reasons why people don't like to cook is because they don't like to clean up the mess. That's and true. And you agreed. That's true. Okay. I hate doing dishes. There you go. I will go out to eat just to avoid doing dishes. Wow. It's interesting because um, I hear, you know, little birdies tell me that you're making some of these recipes at home. Yeah, sometimes I get this weird urge now. Because I'm like, oh, wow, well, maybe I actually can cook this Yes. Today. And so if I got extra time, here we go. There you go. But what, does that mean I'm going to come over to your house and see a sink full of dishes up to here? Well, I can't make you any promises. Okay. <laughs> hey, you got daughters at home. <laughs> Put them to work. There you go. I'm going to tell them you said that, too. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to blame grandma that she said, blame me all you want <laughs> when they're crying. <laughs> you know, it's interesting when they're at my house, guess what? 
they're helping me. And I never have to say, okay, girls, come on now, we gotta clean up. They're right there doing it, and they don't even. It was your that. grandma. Like, okay, so what does that say? Kids always. Who out there has children, and kids for you act completely different than for other people. It's like, oh my gosh, who is this child that has like, it's just so nice yes, and pleasant. Yes, they're angels. They are. They come over here, and they're angels. Yes. Okay, now put it on high. Okay. All right, we're going to keep on going. All right, so you just keep on going until oh. all this is done. How many loaves is this? This is two loaves. Okay. Okay. And we'll be right back. Okay, we'll be right back. We're going to keep on moving. Okay. Okay, this looks great, by the way. So Got it all ground up. Okay, our next step now is the cheese. Okay. And I think I've said this before, my favorite cheese is Romano cheese. And it's now in little chunks. And I'm going to say that it's a, this is about a pound and a half. Okay. Okay. So what do you do with it? We grind it just like we do the... More grinding. So what do you do? Just buy this in like a big block? Yes. This is a... Yes. And then you have to cube it up about the size of little sugar cubes. Okay. And again, we don't want to, you know, process it to to dust. Cheese so. dust? Okay. Here we go. Be careful of the blade always. Make sure safety first. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you talk with this in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's getting sliced. Okay, so we've got the two main ingredients done. Yeah. Now we have two other ingredients. Basically how I've always done this recipe is it's usually two loaves of bread, about a pound and a half to two pounds of cheese, two bundles, bunches of parsley. This is fresh, curly parsley. There's another kind, and it's called the Italian flat leaf. That's bad? Well, it's not bad, but that's not the one that we use. You want to make sure that you take the stems out. De-stem it. <laughs> How do you de-stem it? Well, basically what you do, you can do it with a knife, or actually what I do is I will take the parsley and I will just pull off the leafy part from the stem. Okay. Okay? And then you wash it, and then what I do is I lay out some paper towels. I put this on top of the paper towels. I kind of blot it. Mm -hmm. And then I make sure that um, before I go to bed at night, I put it on more paper towels that aren't wet. And then the next day, it's nice and dry. Okay, so we want to, we're going to grind this, okay? But we're going to grind this with some garlic. This is about six cloves of garlic. Oh, yep, very garlicky. <laughs> so you got your dried curly parsley. Look at that, I got it all in. Yes, you did. And go ahead and dump that in with it. I saw a couple fly off, I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay, so now this one, you have to be really careful when you're processing it because if the garlic gets too mushed up ground, you know, it's going to get very wet and it's going to make your parsley wet. And then when you mix that in with dried breadcrumbs, what happens? You're going to get clump up, clumpy. So you just got to make sure that you're pulsing. Don't ever put it on. So you just got to pulse it just the whole keep time? Pulsing it. Yeah. Just, there just, you go. Just like this forever? Not forever, so you see that the garlic and the parsley are well incorporated. I'm going like this now! <laughs> that looks good! Okay! Yeah, okay, so just leave it in there now. Because now what we have to do, we're going to get a big bowl. Okay. And the way to really do this, to make sure that you have equal amounts, then you want to start with the cheese first, okay? 
So you want to take your cup, one cup measuring cup, because the cheese is gold. Yes. And go ahead and measure by cup out into the big bowl. And yeah, let's make sure that this stays in the bowl because this is, yeah, gold. Okay. One, two. Well, at least I know you can count. <laughs> Six. Okay, so I don't think there's another cup here. So now we want to put in six cups of breadcrumbs. Okay. Okay. One. <laughs> and six. Okay. So you want to take your parsley and garlic and you want to add that to your cheese and breadcrumb mixture. Just dump the whole thing? Just dump it in. Ooh, I can smell it. We don't need to add salt to this because the cheese is salty enough. But we do want to add some black pepper. Okay. How much of that do you add? I just sprinkle it over the top of it and then we'll, what we'll do is we'll mix it up and then we'll just sprinkle again. Okay? Alright, now you can do it. Now you can play with the food. Yay! There you go. Alright, so I'm going to sprinkle one more thing of pepper. Oh I my god. Oh, ah! What do I do? Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> so there you go. And that's it? That's it. We're done? We're done. <gasps> so now what we want to do is we're going to put this in a container and you just store it in your, you store it in your refrigerator. So you can store this for six months? Yeah. Even with cheese? Yeah. Oh wow. Well cheese, you know, cheese is good. As long as it's not wet, you know, it's not going to mold. Okay. So there you go. H and how do you get this into here? Use, um, no, 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 no. Use your measuring cup. Just scoop. Again, this is gold. Wow. We are going to be making some great recipes with this. So I can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> if we have any left <laughs> by the end of the episode. There we go. Look at that. Well, that was awesome. And boom, boom, done, done. Look at that. Look at that. Quick and easy. Very quick and easy. And super simple. And super simple. <laughs> Do it like she says. Yes. Or you'll be in trouble. Yes. And you want to be like us. Yes. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Doesn't everybody want to be like us? Come on. I know they want to be like me. I don't know about you. Okay, well, there's only one more thing to do now. What's that? You have to keep on watching to see how we use this holy grail yeah. in all our recipes. Yeah, keep on watching. There's some amazing dishes coming up. Yes, there is. So subscribe down below. And don't forget, hit like and ring that bell. And just remember, it's always better when you do it together. together. Beauty and the Queen Bee signing, signing out. out. Bye. 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 into the food processor. Well, we, we can grind it, we'll what? grind it, and just put it back in. You can't do that now. Why not? I told you, if it's too wet, it's gonna clump. That's why you gotta do it with the parsley. So it'll be a little less garlicky. Well, here's the thing. I don't know if I can even use this now. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you gonna do with it?